Why did the trial chamber resentence Mr. Bemba, Mr. Kilolo, and Mr. Magenda? On 19 October 2016, Jean-Pierre Bemba Gombo, Eme Kilolo Muzamba, Jean-Jacques Mangenda Kabongo, Fidel Babalawandu, and Narcisse Arido were found guilty of offenses against the administration of justice related to intentionally corruptly influencing witnesses and soliciting false testimonies of defense witnesses in the other case against Mr. Bemba at the ICC. On the 22nd of March 2017, Trial Chamber 7 delivered the sentences in that case. On the 8th of March 2018, the ICC Appeals Chamber reversed the initial sentences against them and remanded the matter to Trial Chamber 7 for a new determination. The convictions and acquittals in relation to all five accused are final. What did the trial chamber decide in resentencing the three convicted persons? In its new decision, Trial Chamber 7 sentenced Mr. Bemba to one year imprisonment and fined him 300,000 euros. Mr. Kilolo and Mr. Mangenda were sentenced each to a total of 11 months of imprisonment. Mr. Kilolo was also fined 30,000 euros. The chamber ordered the deduction from the convicted person's sentence of the time they have spent in detention pursuant to an order of the ICC and accordingly considered the sentences of imprisonment as served. The fines were ordered to be paid to the court within three months of this decision and thereafter transferred to the trust fund for victims. Which factors did the trial chamber take into consideration in its resentencing decision? In reaching its sentencing decision, Trial Chamber 7 noted the reversal of the convictions for one offense, which is presenting evidence that a party knows is false or forged under Article 71B of the Rome Statute. And the Chamber considered holistically, among other factors, the gravity of the offenses for which the convicted persons were found responsible and their role in the attempt to obstruct the investigations of the offenses, as well as their individual degree of participation and intent. The Chamber also placed a special emphasis on the deterrent effects related to the fact that the three convicted persons have been imprisoned for significant periods of time in the present case, which has had significant effects on their professional reputations, financial circumstances, and family circumstances.